I'm Mackenzie Rolls and this is the making of one. So to start I didn't really know what I wanted to do um, but I knew I needed some images so I found this site called unsplash.com uh, and it's a bunch of stock um, images that you can use for free. Um, you have to create an account but it's easy. So you just type in anything you're looking for you can view them large or break them up, which is a lot easier. Um, so I just scanned around and tried to find some ins inspiration. Um, eventually I wound up, well actually as you can see I wound up with a whole bunch of different photos I was considering. Um, but decided on this one as my base image, as well as this one. Um, which I really liked. It, it tied in with um, the blue that was already going on here and the nature, obviously, with the, the bark. Um, and I liked this one. I was also thinking about playing with this one, but um, this one was just much more interesting to me um, in terms of what I could really do to it. But I liked that flower, and I like these trees. So I started... Well, I started by creating a new document, um, 10 inches by 10 inches, and dragged uh, this image over as uh, my base layer. And then I started with the bark and uh, put that on top. So I, I used that as kind of a play on her dress, um, as if she's kind of a tree, because uh, the first thing that struck me about this image was, you know, the way her hair um, is just. Um, laid out sort of like branches and all the ivy surrounding her are like leaves on a tree um, so I thought I could play around with that idea um, so I dragged I uh, drug that image in there first um, and then I rotated it 180 degrees or excuse me 90 degrees um, and then I came in with uh, the cloning tool and just kind of cleaned everything up around it um, shaped it, uh, you know, there were little points here where I, I liked the way it was coming out or, um, I liked the pattern that was going on. So I tried to extend it. Uh, and then I went on to, uh, the flower. So I had to cut all this out and to do that, I used, uh, the paintbrush tool. So click on that guy. And then you come down here and click the um, the wash icon, and it takes a long time, but you know you scribble out the whole background. So all of this uh, was carefully brushed away and tediously. Um, and then after that, it was really easy. I just uh, grabbed the flower and drug it into. drag it into the document and then from there I could just play around with it it's on lockdown right now but <laughs> um, and then I went on to put the branches in which I really liked this idea that um, you know she was laying on her back and and so this is this could be what she was seeing um, but to reinforce that idea that you know she's she is one with nature, one with her surroundings. Um, I layered it on top of her. So I went over here um, and uh, went to the opacity. Um, and I had to make sure that uh, it was at the, the forefront um, before it was in all the way at the top and the back. And it was faded out. And, uh, not looking good. Um, let's see what else. So I lost um, some saturation too though, even just layering um, that one photo on top of it. So I came over here to adjustments and play around um, with the saturation a little bit. That was part of what I really liked about the picture was you know, the vibrancy of the color. So yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks.